Hello, welcome to this training. Today is a very, very special day because you're gonna learn about the difference between IP and analog system. So let's get started. Look here on my screen. We see the difference between analog and IP system. Starting talking about resolution first, then you have your monitor and you have TV line. What are TV line? What do I need TV line for? TV line is very important because when you buy a camera, analog one, a traditional one, and also buy a monitor, you're talking about TV lines. Let's say, for example, you buy a camera, you can buy the camera with 480 TV lines, with 520 TV lines, 600, 1000 or even different resolution. It's also the same with your monitor. You can buy your monitor with different resolution in TV lines. Then you have the first line here. You have all of the lines in your monitor and you have the last one here, whatever it is, depending on your resolution of your camera or monitor. You have the last line here, let's say for example, 1000 TV lines. And now you know that's important to know about TV lines because it's a traditional system, right? When you buy a camera, you buy those cameras on TV lines. Let's compare now with a digital system. In digital system have here your monitor and then you have pixels. You don't have TV lines anymore. We're talking about pixels now. And then you buy a camera, let's say IP camera now. I'm not talking about analog anymore. I'm talking about IP now, IP camera pixel and then you have 0.3 megapixel for example you have 1.3 2 megapixel 3 5 8 and even higher resolution much higher resolution in other ip cameras and then you have the pixels and those pixels are going to fill your screen so basically that's the difference between tv lines and pixel analog system tv lines and pixels in the digital system right let's see here now that we have uh, one pixel here and the last one pixel here eight million pixels for example you have eight megapixels that's why you have eight megapixels eight million pixels in your image means eight megapixels if you have like uh, 2 million pixels in your image, you have 2 megapixels, right? Let's continue here with the basic comparison. When you have a camera, analog camera with 600 TV lines, and then you have your cable, a coaxial cable, and then you connect to a monitor. This monitor must have also 600 TV lines or higher resolution to be compatible with your camera. And then, you compare this to a system that's digital. You have IP camera with two megapixel camera, for example, and then you connect your cable and you connect your computer. Then you can have your image in your screen. Let's say a two megapixel monitor. That's the same of full HD. When you talk about uh, two megapixel resolution and full HD resolution is the same thing, right? And then you have your pixels in your screen. It's pretty easy to understand. Now let's talk a little bit about recording. You have your system, you can see live videos from the camera to your monitor, it's an analog system. From your IP camera to your computer and to your monitor, it's IP system. But how about recording? What's necessary to record your videos? Let's talk about that. And you have analog system here with your analog camera. You send the videos in analog format to your DVR. That's the digital video recorder. That's why the name is DVR, it's the digital video recorder. And then you convert from analog to digital and then you can record. You always record in digital format. You don't record TV lines, you record pixels, right? And then you can also send analog video directly to your monitor if you want to, because you can connect your camera to your DVR, your DVR to your monitor directly using cables with analog signal. And then you have your image here, your video here, and you can also compare here with IP cameras, it's the same principle, you have digital image going to an NVR, and then we record those videos and you can send in digital format to a monitor, right? It's pretty easy, pretty basic. 
Now let's talk about transmission. You have here your camera, it's analog one. You can send the video directly to a monitor. You can also send the video directly to a DVR, it's analog video. And then you can convert from analog, see the arrow, it's gray now because it's digital. And then you can see your video in your screen, in your computer. That's possible only when you convert from analog to digital, then you can see in your computer. And then you can also send those videos to internet and from internet you can send to a computer in digital format, right? So basically it's just simple like this. You need the camera, you need something to convert from analog to digital, that'll be your DVR and then your DVR is going to record and also can send through internet. Comparing now with a digital system, you have the camera, directly from the camera you can send to a computer, then you can see directly here and you can also send from the camera to a NVR, it's a network video recorder, and then you can send to your computer. It's the same concept with internet, you can send directly from your camera or your NVR to internet, and then you can send to your computer, wherever you are located, right? So pretty easy, pretty simple. You have to have analog converted to digital, to send through internet or whatever you want to send the video in digital format. With IP cameras, you bring directly from the camera to whatever you want to say in digital format, right? So basically like this, basic principle like this, right? So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you in the next one.